Hi, this is Steve Stamps, and in this video today, I want to talk about your immune system. In 2020, I've been inundated by family and friends and others who've asked me about how to develop and maintain a robust immune system. So I decided I'm going to do a video series. This is just video number one. It's going to give you an overall picture and view on the pillars and principles that I've developed and that I've applied to myself, my family and my community. So why should you even care about your immune system? Well, it's involved in every single bodily function that you have and it gives you a general well-being if you have a strong immune system. It's also important to stave off serious conditions like cancer and autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. So vital for you to optimize your mind, body and soul. At the center of my seven pillars is this eudaimonic circle with the two most important pillars being purpose and community. But what is this eudaimonic circle? Hopefully one day I'm going to have it as a registered trademark. But eudaimonia is a word that has been weakly translated in today's times as happiness. But it comes from stoicism and it really means to flourish, to thrive, to have feelings of contentment, satisfaction, peace, joy and happiness too. And so when we've got a combination of these two pillars, then we can have eudaimonia. Purpose on the left hand side. The reason that you live on this earth. What is your why? Why do you get up on a Monday morning and why should anyone even care? Uh, it's the value and your unique strengths that you bring to this world. On the other side, which is so important, is community. And there are multiple communities within community. The first and most important that can never taken, be taken away from you is your community with the divine. And for me, it's my connection and my engagement with a Trinitarian God. The second most important community is the community that you have with yourself. The connection, engagement, intimacy, alignment and order that you have with your mind, body and soul. What is your self-talk like when no one's listening or watching? The third most important is your friends and family, those that you trust those that feel, you feel safe with, those that celebrate you. You could call them any time of night or two o'clock in the morning and they would rush to your side without even thinking. They share your joys, they share your life and they're there for you no matter what. The fourth is possibly a community that you have because you have common interests like a running school or a music uh, club that you belong to or any hobbies or interests or even roles that you may have. So I have a lecturing community as, because I'm a lecturer that where you can connect and share life together. And the last is your connection or community with the world. It's what you may bring to communities in your life. For example, the Made to Thrive community that I'm called to inspire and empower to live a life of thriving. Radiation from cell phones, Bluetooth devices, and other electromagnetic devices that have been shown to have detrimental effects on our well-being. The next is your sleep. Not only your quantity of eight hours of sleep, but your quality. Do you know or measure your deep sleep and REM sleep scores that are so important for optimizing your well-being? The next is movement. Yes, movement and exercise. 10,000 steps a day, anaerobic and aerobic exercise, but the counter being very important in terms of rest. Resting your mind, body and soul with meditation, mindfulness and breath work. The following would be nutrition. Yes, we all know how important the fuel that you put in your body is for your immunity. But the counter is important as well. Fasting, intermittent fasting, fasting mimicking diets, three day water fasts have been shown to improve this part of your body. Last but not least is self-quantification. This we've taken for granted, like measuring your blood pressure, which is so important to know. Maybe the, your glucose over the last three months, your HB alpha 1C, your average glucose, so important for your health 
and just your health span. The principles that we adopt are ancestral wisdom and modern biohacking. So for example, on light, the most important is to get sunlight, but if you're unable to get sunlight or be outdoors, then there's photobiomodulation or PBM in the form of infrared sauna or red light or infrared light panels that you can use. The next example would be your nutrition. Yes, you need to eat a nutrient-dense diet, real food, but you may need some supplementation in the forms of nutraceuticals or vitamins to supplement your diet. So there you have it. Seven pillars, two principles on how to optimize your immune system to maintain and build a robust immunity. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that you can get notified of further videos I upload. And always remember, be and stay surrounded.